Good morning. Let me just show you the view. Well, good morning and welcome. Me and my family are on a, we've been on a vacation in East Tennessee. This is not Colorado. Um, and yeah, we've had a blast exploring East Tennessee. I lived in Nashville for 13 years. For whatever reason, I think I drove through East Tennessee once. Never got over here to explore and visit the Jonesboro, Johnson City, Bristol, Kingsport area. And so that's what we've been doing the last week, just really enjoying exploring neighborhoods in East Tennessee and pumpkin patches. Hopped over to North Carolina to visit my wife's brother and, and his wife. Shout out to Aaron and Juliet and their, I'm trying to remember the name of their farm. Anyway, their little, their little farm they have. Uh, what else? Shout out to my friend Chris for letting us stay with him for a couple of nights. Um, and we're currently in Elizabethan, Tennessee. Uh, and if you see this barn, this barn over here is a wedding venue. They have weddings, huge venue down below. They have an Airbnb up those stairs. You can't really see the stairs there in the, in the shadow of the barn right now, but on the top level, there's a, there's an Airbnb, but because they're having a wedding there today, they asked us, uh, if we kindly move over to the cabin. That's the cabin. Here's the rest of the farm. There's some cows and donkeys and mules up there. Oh, the turkeys have come out of the hills. Look at that. There's some turkeys coming down out of the hills. We haven't seen turkeys yet. We saw our first deer out here last night. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. There they are. Just a beautiful property. Look at those colors. I will say this, the humidity out here, which is not bad at all this time of year, it's doing wonders for my beard. We would love for our daughter to grow up on some land and have some animals and things like that. One of the best pieces of advice that I ever heard was from Dr. Ken Berry when it comes to prepping and things like that. Instead of buying buying your, your ready to, meals ready to eat, your MREs or the big buckets of food and things like that, just get some sheep and some cows. And if you ever need to feed your family, your prepper food is right there in the pasture. So go slaughter a sheep, feed your family. Uh, so I thought that, that makes you know perfect sense. For me at least. I don't wanna I don't wanna store a bunch of stuff. I wanna write a book someday or do a video about and for some reason the, the title makes no sense. Uh, so I need to rework the title, but it's the anti prepper's guide to prepping. <laughs> so um, so it'd be kind of you know common sense prepping 
how to not tell people you're prepping, like, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking through, I'm always thinking through fun videos in my head that never really make it to, to YouTube. It is a gorgeous morning. My girls are still asleep. I think I've done something to my knee that carnivore probably may not be able to help. I may have pulled, torn a meniscus in my knee. I'm not sure how, uh, but hot water seems to help. But anyway, my wife's gonna hate me for filming all this stuff on her phone and taking up her storage space. She will not hate me. She'll just delete it. <laughs> yeah, East Tennessee's gorgeous. You know, they. We had planned this trip prior to Helene coming in and destroying a lot of stuff, especially south of Johnson City, Unicoi County. Um, we were able to see a lot of the devastation as we drove over into North Carolina. Um, they were still working on getting roads opened, things like that. I think that's all I have. I really didn't have a purpose for this video other than to just kind of show you where we were. We're on vacation. It's the end of October. I planned it so that the trees would be changing while we're out here. My wife has just fallen in love with it. She would love, we would love to move from Colorado to a place like this. Longer growing season for flowers and fruits and vegetables, things like that. Warmer climate, she can't stand the cold, uh, chills her to the bone. Um, shorter winters out here. It's beautiful, it's kind of rolling hill, slower pace of life. Not that our lives could get much slower pace of life where we are in Colorado, it's Shangri-La. We have a great life in Colorado. We don't need to move. I have a great job, I love what I do. But we feel a stirring, a pulling in our hearts maybe to explore and consider what life might look like out here in East Tennessee. And so that's kind of where we are. Just exploring. We may not move. We may be in Colorado for a long time, uh, or we may not. So, I mean, East Tennessee is horrible. Don't move here. It's ugly. People are horrible. <laughs> I could literally just sit here on this tailgate drinking coffee all day long, looking at the view, and be completely content. I personally think this view with the vibrant colors is way more beautiful to look at than the Rocky Mountains. That's just me. All right. Got to go. Got to get my girls up, get this day going. We got to think we got to check out of here at some point and then Oh. Pray for my poor knee. It's been oof painful to walk around. <clears throat> I thought I was on the mend, but my daughter wanted me to chase her down the Tweetsie Trail, so I was like, ah, I'm feeling a little better. I kid you not, not even 10 yards. I'm like, oh. I'm like, Shanna, you might have to carry me back to the car. Just drag me by my feet. But It'll get better. Pray for my poor knee. Pray for <clears throat> the decisions we have to make. We're praying for all of you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, these colors are amazing. Amazing. I'm trying to think where else we ate. We went to the firehouse, not firehouse up. Went to the firehouse yesterday, last night with my friend Chris. He met us there. Um, yeah, it was good. Great people. Um, and it's a local, it's a local restaurant. Not Firehouse Subs, the firehouse. And normally they have a huge fire truck in there, but it was out being decorated for the Christmas parade. Uh, visited, we visited some parks. How many false starts, or sorry, how many false stops can I do? This is why YouTubers, you should always have a script. Don't just run and gun it. Well, it wouldn't be a YouTube video if I didn't end with the beard. Time to go wake my girls up.
Peace. I could also sit right here on this front porch all day long too. And enjoy the views. It's a simple life. East Tennessee's gorgeous and we're moving here.